I have to hide and seek. I uh, um, uh, there are many different games we need to play, like Bully Ganda. Hi, good morning. Yes, good morning, Deepika. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm quite well. Thank you so much for connecting today. Uh, you're most welcome. All right, uh, Deepak, uh, can you tell me a few things about yourself? Okay. I'm a fitness coach, as you know my name, So, at, and I'm from Bihar, but I stay mm -hmm. in there for my bread and butter. All right. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, I, I hate about my parents. Uh, my father is a farmer. My mm -hmm. mother is a housewife. We are three siblings and the youngest of them. All right. Okay. So you're two siblings. Yes. Right. Okay. And since when are you living in Delhi? For past a decade. A decade. A decade. Wow. That's quite long. All right. Uh, how is the weather in Delhi right now? Today is good, but yesterday was very hot. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yes. We cannot even think about Delhi not being hot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. Uh, Deepak, I think there's some issue on the app and I am not able to access the session notes. All right, so I'm not sure what the topic was selected for this class. No so is there anything uh, anything else, any other topic you would like to discuss? No, you you can pick up the topic. Uh, okay, something new, something different, and we can discuss. Even if right. it's a general conversation. So let's start. All right. Uh, can we talk about your childhood? Childhood was no. My childhood was full of joy. <laughs> it meant uh, I used to be beaten up a lot by my mother because mm -hmm. I was very you no know, naughty boy. <laughs> yes, and uh, it was so fun. Only fun, only entertaining, only roaming here and there. Not studying, not going to school. Right. Okay. And, uh, but now, I, when I recall those days, I feel like what a day, wonderful days was. No tense and no stress, no mm -hmm. workload. And uh, one thing I, that time, I was thinking that that time, whatever I used to ask from my parents, I need to eat this, I need to eat that they were not giving me so that time i used to remember uh, uh, to say if when i will be younger when i will be okay uh, uh, older then i will eat whatever i want to eat because i will make money i will give money to my parents and my parents will whatever i will ask them to make they will make for me and yeah this <laughs> desire is fulfilling but now i don't eat like most of people eat, I don't eat. I once a week I eat, but uh, yeah. most as as I said that I'm a fitness coach, so I have very restricted things. Okay, uh, very mm, that unusual things I eat. If I talk about okay and my eating, so but um, i used to play cricket i used to play with my friends in my childhood here just like goalie kancha right know the right right I hide and seek i uh, um, uh, there are many different games we used to play like bully ganda oh yeah <laughs> yeah right. so those moments were awesome still this moment is also awesome but that time, what lifestyle was different now? Lifestyle is different, so yeah, uh, phenomenal, phenomenal time. All right, so you were a mischievous kind of a child. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. So your sibling, as you said, you have one sibling. So is he your brother or your sister? Brothers, brothers. Brother, elder or younger? 
Elder, elder. Elder brother. Yeah. All right. Did you two uh, get along with each other or did you used to fight? Uh, mm, no. I think uh, we were very, they were, uh, you know, mm, dictating me. Okay. Oh, <laughs> he was sort yeah. of bullying. Yes, uh, they were detecting me. Don't go here. Don't do this. Don't do that. If you'll go, I will beat you up. Okay, at this time. Yeah. So they were commanding my activities. Okay, he used to order you a lot. Yes, yes. yes. Is he? Is he very? I mean, uh, is he quite elder than you, or just a few years? Yeah, quite well, uh, four or five years. Oh, maybe that is the reason why. Maybe he was being protective of his younger brother. All right, yeah. okay. Any particular incident that you remember from your childhood that is very memorable or, you know, very funny oh. that you still remember? Yeah, I remember once time, as I said, my mama scolded me and I, I think she uh, beated me also. Okay. Okay. I was under... 10 or 8, I remember, and see. Uh, Deepak, you need. All right, okay. Lies down in the middle of the road, and the bull cord was coming from another side. And they stopped just, I think, four or five steps before me. And he said that, get out of the way. <laughs> okay, I said, no. Run over me, run over me, run over me. I do not want to leave. I do not want to leave. And then he, he I, because I was lying down in front of my home. So he got off the uh, the bull cart and he went to my home and said, why this kid is lying down on the road? He's not getting out uh, of the road. And then my mom came and she dragged me off the road. <laughs> this way. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right. Okay. And this took out so that I remember. And apart from that, uh, once upon a time, I, I proposed a girl when I was under, I think, eight, nine years old, I would be. All right. <laughs> I directly said, okay. She was, I was cute in my childhood time. Okay. So most of the girls were coming and pulling my, you know, chick and, and they were kissing me. Right. Once upon, oh, okay. Once upon a time, she was coming from different way. I was going from her way, and she said, oh, do you, "Will you marry me?" <laughs> she was shouted on me. Okay, and she said, "Just straight message that I'm going to your home and I'm talking to your mom. I'm going to tell your mom that you were saying like this way." <laughs> so I was very naughty that time. I sometimes I used to break the you no. Know, the wire of cycle, and I was, uh, no, lick the puncture the cycle, bike. I used to do one, uh, one more time. I, I was smoking cigarette behind my home. I got caught. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You have had a very uh, fun filled childhood, I must yeah. say. Yes, All right. Naughty. Did you also get beaten up after you know, after being caught doing all those mischievous activities? I had beaten not a lot, a lot. <laughs> my, my neighbors were used to when I used to beaten up. I used to beat uh, my mama used to beat me. Everyone was knowing. Oh, the is crying. That means he is being beaten by her uh, by his mom. And my mom used to lock the door and. They were pulling out the ruler by which we make chapati and something, mm -hmm. or, or, or shoes, whatever she will find it in her hand. And mm. She start beating. Uh, and what about your father? What kind of relationship did you have with you? My father was not staying. He was making money out of homes. He used to live in Kolkata, Calcutta at that time. All right. So he was not uh, with us. But he used to come. Uh, six months one, one in a six months or twice in a six months for one week two week three weeks and then he used to leave so all right yeah. okay. and your brother was he also equally naughty as you were or was he not i don't know about them they, they were elder to me so i were <laughs> quite mature all right me. yes all right 
okay uh so uh what got you into you know what how did you make up your mind of getting into this profession i think this is the work i can do better in my life okay i didn't make uh, okay uh, my future in fitness because uh, of uh, okay i can make more in you no know, i may i made my future in this industry because i love doing this all right uh, okay regardless of how little money i will make but i will enjoy this work i will give my 110% in this work and so okay before becoming a professional health coach uh, mm-hmm. fitness coach uh, you used to work on yourself did you start early in your teenagers or when did you start i started after 5 years later on after before 5 5 years i used to work out on myself i used to work out in the gym i used to work out on my body i learned the experience i i studied about human body mm mm-hmm. then i got a diploma after right. receiving diploma then i was allowed to work as a fitness coach in the gym right. okay yes. okay so a fitness coach and a fitness trainer are these two things uh, similar or are they different i think uh, trainer is someone who teaches you new thing every single day all right is someone who drag drag out greatness which is inside you oh. you can he or she can make you realize that you can do the things you never thought of you can do mm mm-hmm. mm right so okay. coach is someone who can help you to become the best version of yourself right okay so this is between trainer or coach regardless of different field like sales trainer no uh, and personal coach or, or different so this is a different with the reasons right uh, corporate field or fitness yeah. mhm so okay so uh, when when you become a fit- fitness coach you uh, apart from the workout that you do the exercises that you have to uh, maintain you also have to maintain a strict diet right yes yes uh, So do you i mean do you religiously uh, follow your diet and maintain your maintain the things that you eat or yeah. in, 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 in the beginning of my career i used to follow a lot the strict diet mm-hmm. uh, food for now for past one year i am staying with my family okay so it is not i am not following 100% but 80 90% i am following the diet Okay. So but yeah, is it not that. is it not quite boring to eat the bland food every day the boiled foods and no oil no junk food I mean I I used to go to the gym for a while but then because I could not stick to my diet I quit and that is something you know I I just cannot uh, uh not eating spicy food not eating junk food that is something i cannot stop myself from so yeah you need a lot of discipline to maintain that yes yes yes, yes. and you've been doing it for the past 10 years 15 years i guess you know 15 years uh, after uh, seven years seven years not 15 years uh-huh. seven years uh, uh-huh. i am into uh, no as a fitness coach i started uh, following diet strictly mhm okay so before that i was having a regular meal but not only i was you know, working out mm. when i once i became fitness coach i started caring for my health i like i i eat because i had to get my dream was to be a get six pack right and so i started uh, focusing on diet and after all i reached, i got six pack i, I built a six pack yeah okay how does it feel to you know achieve the the kind of body you always dreamt of having the kind of physique you wanted to you know build for yourself you feel confident you feel you are unique you get a sense of you no know, 
self esteem that okay uh, this was your goal and now you have achieved it so right. comfort you build the confidence when you achieve something different something unique something hard mm-hmm. and you realize you are unique uh, okay uh, you are great you are champion mm. all right Did did you ever have any role model while you started your career as a fitness coach or when you were training? Uh, yes, uh, I had a role mo- model, Guru Man. Okay. Who uh, was your model? He is uh, Indian. He is in US. All right. He has. He is almost forty-two or forty-three years old. Years old, and uh, he is still his body is like a uh, twenty-five years old. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so he is very rich. He is disciplined. He is role role model for me. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. And is is he still in the fitness industry? Yes. 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 He is very rich in US. He is very rich. All right. So he became rich uh, in getting into this profession itself. Yes, yes. Right. Okay. So how I mean uh, let's say a fitness coach or, or even a fitness trainer till what age can they work in this profession? Is there an age limit like you know in the 95 jobs? No, no. age limit. No age limit. It's all about your mindset. Mm. You think you can work or okay you can be for active up to 70 75 80 you can be mhm okay looking that oh after 50 my body won't allow to walk out or won't allow to go to 95 job mm-hmm. or i feel tired you will feel tired at 50 or 45 how mm-hmm. you uh, how you have trained your mind what do you think about yourself at the age of 30 40 50 mhm so it depends on the mindset mindset right okay these days uh, people who work out and who want to build their physique and their body they have got into this habit of taking supplements and things like that what do you have to say about that supplements are not bad um, vitamins minerals are not bad but it's all about quality okay. all right and uh, Okay. Yes, that should be genuine. Hmm. And there are lots of fake product in the market. I right. Right. Um. In in few uh, months ago, there was a survey that fifty to sixty percent supplements in India are fake. Okay. So right. does they do they do they uh, have a kind of uh, side effect on your body? uh i'm not sure but it will it may show you after when you will be aging right 30 40 50 mm. right so, so you have to know which one are you supposed to take yeah. and to skip the fake ones sure, sure, sure. right okay uh did you ever participate in any kind of pageants or competitions or things like that ne- never. never why not because my goal was to not become a athlete my goal was to become of my goal is to become financially free right mm-hmm. and uh, it's very expensive uh, to participate in this is the i think most expensive game in the world right, to okay. participate on biggest stage mm-hmm. 2 lakh 3 lakh rupees you have, minimum you have to spend per month 10 to 12 thousand rupees per month okay right and being a uh, middle from middle, middle class family uh, it is hard to take care of your health take care of your family right? mm-hmm. on the that to save money no for your future you have to invest money so i will not And, you never. Uh, I, I never had to have a goal to become an athlete or performing on the stage for competition. Okay. And did your family always support you in your choice of profession? 
they they do not have any interest what i do uh, okay they know okay deepak you have to be fitness coach go be whatever you want to do they always support all right they they never objected they were always supportive no, no, no. oh that's very nice yes all right uh Neepak, uh, listening to you speak, uh, first of all, I would like to say you have very good confidence. Uh, when you speak, when you were speaking to me all this while, you know, you you were making eye contact, which is a sign of good confidence. Usually, when people speak and they are hesitant or they are not able to, you know, they're not sure if they're using the correct grammar and things like that, they tend to look away from the screen. they cannot make eye contact so that is a sign of weak confidence but then you uh, made eye contact throughout the session which is very commendable and uh, i think you have a nice flow of vocabulary you use nice words like sincere and there's so many words you used like fancy words so you have a rich vocabulary and you also tend to use phrases in your sentence like uh, people who are usually learning who are early in learning english don't tend to use phrases because they're not sure what the meaning of the phrase is and if it is apt to use it in a sentence or not but then you're using phrases and you're using nice words which fit in the sentences very perfectly so you don't have much problem with those you don't have any problem with sentence formation as well your sentences are very nicely formed your tense is good your tense is very good when you are speaking in the past tense when you were talking about your childhood so you were saying all your sentences in the past tense when you're talking about the future you uh, uh, you're speaking in the future tense so you don't have much problem with tenses uh and uh pronunciation some of the words like were w e r e were asked a s k e d asked and parents parents these are some words that most people even very good speakers pronounce incorrectly but then you pronounced it very very correctly i'm so proud of you that's a very good sign because you know when people pronounce the word w e r e they usually uh, say where whereas w h e r e is where w e r e is were but you mm-hmm. pronounced it correctly and i am so glad i'm so glad you know after so long i found a student i mean i found a person who pronounced these words correctly and i felt so nice so you should keep up with the, these thanks uh a few places where you have pronunciation error are the words uh, very very yeah when you say very very see uh, the when you say it's not b it's v very 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 right and uh, okay and there was one place where you say i was beaten by my mother i was beaten yes i was beaten by my mother and uh, some of the words where you have the s h sound the sh like sh sure. right she or shoes so uh, people usually tend to you know sometimes it's also a slip of tongue we want to say sure but then it happens to be sir so that is the difference so it comes out differently because we are not very you know habituated of saying that particular sound so that you will have to keep in mind the sh sound she All right other than that i don't think there's much problem with your english you're very good you have a very good command of the language uh you have a very good command of the tone you speak in uh, there's uh, you cannot find the mother tongue influence in your english it does not sound like you're speaking in a mother language tone all right so only the places you have to uh, keep in mind are words that have the sh sound and words like very and was and is the z the z sound and the sh sound all right other than that i don't find much problem with your english i think you're going to you you are going to speak very very fluent english in a few sessions thank you thank you thank you so much uh, aditi uh, your name is aditi right yes. 
No, my name is Deepika. Deepika, sorry, 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 Deepika. And uh, you are a great tutor on this platform. And, oh, thank you so much. Uh, how long you are uh, being here? Since how long? Uh, I haven't been been doing this for long. It's only been maybe uh, uh, two weeks. I've been doing this for two. Weeks. Okay, but you are great. You are great. Thank you so much. You, uh, I don't know your background is teaching or not, but the way you this session, it was like you are, no, doing podcast. <laughs> I am guest, and you are because very few people they ask about the profession and they start putting up question regarding their profession. How did you come into this field? And how what was your goal? Because they usually ask one or two two question and after that they won't be able to put up the question from the profession right from the same topic but right. you were like you have already prepared <laughs> <laughs> right? that this question i'm going to ask and uh, it was great great uh, like thank you so much deepak uh, do you have any questions for me regarding the session uh, question no I, I i don't have i don't have any question i have only compliment <laughs> Thank you so much, Deepak. Uh, I wish you all the best. Continue with your practice. And uh, I want to uh, see you with flying colors. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much again for connecting with me. God bless. Stay here. Thank you, Deepak.